Welcome to the channel, folks. Clunkers and classics. My little helpers here, puppy and kitty up there. Okay, we're back to working on the Nova. I know some of you didn't like those uh, fun we had taking the before we took the cars to the crushers. Uh, but anyway, we're back on the Nova, and on this episode. We are going to put in the patch panel for the lower quarter panel for this Nova. Uh, as you can see, it kind of looks like it needs a whole quarter, but it really doesn't. And I don't want to spend the money on a big quarter panel. This patch panel here, uh, 45 50 bucks, And it's all Bondo and Rust down here. Okay. So this panel goes here it goes up over top it's about this big but we're not going to use the whole thing now i don't recommend on these patch panels just using uh what you really need and in most cases okay so i'm going to take off the bumper and this uh, marker light and this tail light they all got to come off anyway before it's painted, but we're taking them off for the purpose of this patch panel. So, what I don't like about these quarter panels, or this trunk design, is there's very little room right here. So if debris and crap gets down there, you can't really get at it to pull it out. It, it, it's, to me, it's a bad design, because right now I just pulled this piece of plastic and there's leaves and stuff that get in there okay um we're gonna probably splice it in right below this marker light right about here because i want access to it from the inside so i can you know sand it prime it paint it undercoat it right in here you can't do that if it's any lower you can't really get at it very good okay so that's going to be the first step. Take off these parts. It wraps around a little bit right here. That's right here. Not sure exactly how much we're going to use on that, but let's take it off and we'll get it set up there and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, guys, I got the bumper and the tail lights out. This whole back panel I'm going to do in another video. Uh, see here, it's all caved in. It got hit pretty good back here. Uh, we're going to do that in another video, straighten that out. That's what the problem is right here. It's dented in. I might bang that out a little bit. But for now, we're just going to uh, put a piece of marking tape here masking tape and I'm going to cut it right along here with this uh, grinder with a little I don't know people call them zip zip cut discs or whatever but they're real thin for cutting you can use I used to use a little air die grinder uh, but that's a little bit easier so whatever you got it, it don't take much to cut a metal cut metal okay so cut it right along that line and then it's going to be welded right in here and i believe there's all bondo here you can probably see a little bit of weld spot welds in here i'm going to grind that down and then don't bother with uh, trying to drill out spot welds and all that you, you don't have to just grind them out so you can see one here you just grind that and then well when, once you cut this it'll be loose there and just use a, a screwdriver or vice grips and just pry it grind it and then just pry it off and then grind it smooth. Grind the, the what's remaining of the spot there. Okay, so it's going to be spot welded there. And then underneath here, this is all Bondo. So I'm going to have to grind that off. And same thing, pull it, pull it down from here. Get something in there, pry it. And as you grind it, you just pull it off. And you want to be able to leave that, uh, the inner structure on there. That's what you're welding to. And then same with the lip around here. There'll be a couple of spot welds here. You got to be careful and don't cut through the the inner wheel well. 
the inner wheel well comes out and that's what the quarter panel welds to so you just want to get the, the top layer off don't take the whole thing off but of course you guys from up north when you get this far you're going to find out you need wheel wells and you need this panel underneath here which is called the trunk extension uh, most likely this panel here goes down like you can see it from the outside here mine's good so we're going to reuse that but i know like i said you guys up north you end up have to replace and all that so like i said for this video we're just doing the just doing the patch and that's all i've already inspected it and that's all we need okay so let me get that off and i'll be back Okay guys, I cut it, I cut a little, cut it here and here to make it easier to pull it out. Okay. See how this is all rusty and bondo, most of that's going to fall off. Found another socket, probably no good. But this is the problem, uh, they had put in a patch panel before and not a, not one like that. They put a piece of metal in there and a lot of bondo I, I thought that i thought that metal there was different okay so basically this is just gonna see this is the this is the crap you can't get out from inside okay i got a bunch of screws and stuff here too okay and this is Bondo in here. Oh, uh, this, yeah, see this corner here is rotted out. We, we, can, we can make some little patches out of that. I have to cut this little edge off here, then this thing should just break off. If not, just hit it with a hammer just a little bit and it'll pop off. But this is because it's been rigged up. This is where the welds would be under here. And this is where we're gonna have to grind it once this is off. I have to grind that edge there really good because that's where this this is going to weld onto okay so this this is going to be a little easier to like i said we have to grind on the inside here them welds and then then you can just use a screwdriver a little hammer vice grips and, and just pry that edge off and same with this little edge here okay so i'll be back in a, in a minute Okay, you can see I grinded down the welds right here. You just use some uh, use some vice grips and just bend it. And use that, or you use a little hammer and just just break it off. Okay. Like that. Okay, then you get rid of all this. This is old caulking here. Just, you know, use a screwdriver, hammer, vice grips, just to get all that out of there. Okay, and what you want to do is grind this all flush. See the remnants of it still on there. With the old. So just grind it all flush there. Same with this bottom. This piece just come right off. And this is the lip here. So you want to, this is all bent. So you're going to get your vice grips and uh, straighten all that out. They had a big rivet in here holding it on. So I don't even think they welded this piece on. Okay, so you want to grind all that flush. 
get rid of all this excess over here. And then we're going to work on this. You do the same thing as this piece on here. Just grind them welds and peel that off. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, guys. Uh, I got to replace all this. This was all rotten. And uh, full of caulking and rust and everything. So I bang this out from the inside a little bit here. I'm going to get a lot better, but uh, just so this hair area was lined up. So I'm going to use a, a little piece. Uh, I'll show you here in a second. So I got this. This is the piece you want to chisel off the welds. Or the hammer and screwdriver that went there. We pop that out. This bottom piece is a lot more rusted than I thought. But uh, I'm not going to replace the inner fender well or nothing. I'm going to go ahead and put this patch on. And then I'm going to build a little patch in here. Not to take the wheel off and everything later on. But for now, got the bottom here grinded a little bit. i uh, have to go over it. Probably best to go over it with a wire wheel or something and clean the rest of that up. So, this is how it fits here. And the next step, about like that. See? And the next step is to is to mark. Okay, I got it lined up at the bottom here. Just feeling with my hand. It's pretty good. And next thing is to mark this where you want it cut. So I'm going to look in here, and it's basically going to go like this. You use this piece here, then I'm going to go down and then across like that. So you want to cut it. Now there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can just butt it right up to it or get it close and then run your run your cutting wheel across. So both pieces of metal are like that and you can weld it that way. Or you can just leave a little a little bit of it which I'm I'm probably going to do that way. Basically, you just I'm just going to overlap it a little bit. See if it's like that. I want to overlap it and I'm going to weld it there. Although with this piece I'm going to probably put it underneath. I'm going to have to do some little cutting on that edge and I'm going to put it I'm going to put it about an inch below inch behind this. Okay, and then I'm going to weld it across here. And that way you just do a little skim of bondo along the bottom. And then you have, you'll have you have access here. You get in here with a grinder and clean that up. And then you'll have access there to, uh, you know, spray it and undercoat it and all that. But of course, we got a little bit of ways to go before we weld it on. But I'm going to cut it and fit it. Okay, and then we're going to... Uh, uh, paint all this black. You know, just go with a spray can, put some rust neutralizer around in there. Uh, and here, paint all that black. And then, uh, if you want, I don't like using weld, weld through primer, but if you like it, you would just spray all this with weld. There's Kitty up there. Some weld through primer. But we're going to get the exact spots where we want it weld welded and leave that bare metal and then the rest will well we'll paint but we'll mask off like little areas of bare metal where we want to drill some holes here in the bottom and then weld it and then we're going to get in with some paint underneath and then reach in there and just spray it in there so that way that way paint and primer drips down in there and seals it good for uh so water doesn't get in there but for now next step is to cut this to fit so let me do that and I'll be back. Okay guys, got it all trimmed up. Basically trimmed uh trim this big old piece off here. And this would be the trim uh use little pieces of metal to build build up in here. I got a couple little rust through right there. Uh I may just put some caulking or something in there. I'm not gonna bother welding a little patch or nothing in there, but definitely we gotta we gotta do a little triangle type thing in here. 
Okay, so this is it here. And then it basically just lines up like that. I'm going to change my mind and uh, overlap it on the outside instead of trying to, trying to tuck it up underneath. So let me basically be like that. Okay. And then I cut half this uh, edge off here. And we're just going to weld it. Weld it halfway up there. Okay. So uh, I will be back. And I get this wire wheel down. And we'll spray a little paint in there. Paint and primer. And then we'll uh, weld this on there. Well, this patch panel on there. I may put some screws in there. Uh, if you're a beginner, you've never done this before. When you set this up here, like that, let's go ahead and drill screws, drill little holes there, and put screws in all the way along. And that way, it's held nice and tight. And then you can do your, then you can do your spot welds on top. But we'll get to that. Uh, Tomorrow, actually, it's the end of the day, so I'll be back tomorrow, but a couple seconds for you guys. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, it's the next day. Drill the holes along the bottom here where we're going to weld it. Uh, some around the wheel lip and right on the edge there. Now, I put a little bit of, I'm going to try to paint as much as I can here without screwing up to where I'm going to weld. So I just put a little piece of masking tape where I'm going to weld. Right in here. And then at the bottom. And I've already sprayed some... Uh, well, I don't know where the can went. But the... Uh, oh, right here. This uh, rust neutralizer. Spray a little bit of that on there. Let her dry. And then I'm just going to use some of this... Uh, and these Walmart paint. It's supposed to be paint and primer all in one. And uh, we're going to spray all this black. Okay. Everything except where we uh, are going to weld. So I'm going to set this up like that. And use some vice grips to hold the bottom lip in right there. Put some vice grips along the bottom. And then we'll drill some... Uh, holes around here and put some screws in to hold it in place and then we're gonna we're gonna weld it okay. so I'll be back when I get that ready to go okay guys we got her all clamped down with a bunch of vice grips and uh, screws mainly in this little area here it's kind of you know you don't you want to get this metal as tight as you can against the other metal don't leave no gaps because uh, you're going to have to put a little skim of body filler around there. You don't want it too far out. You want it as less as possible. Now what I use, uh, you can like in here. Now what we're going to do is just run little spot welds in here. For now, we're just going to go like every couple inches. Okay? Because you don't want to run a bead along there, you'll warp all the metal. The metal will just be all wavy. So as you do a spot and you use a screwdriver, just push it. See how, how the metal pushes in there? So every time you do a spot, just go like that. And like that. Weld it with the other hand. Like that. And go along, and then you let it cool. Cool for a little while, and then you'll do a spot every... You know in between those ones okay and keep doing that you can use an air hose and blow some air on there to cool it down faster but yeah we're gonna weld up here across all on there and all these little welds here spots there and then along the bottom all these ones here okay uh, I'll do a couple of welds I'll see if I can do it without ruining the camera now what I got I just got a cheap uh, Harbor Freight flux core welder that's all I use 
It's great for sheet metal and everything. I wouldn't suggest welding frames with it, trying to patch up frame, thick frames or anything, but it's great for just, you know, sheet metal patches, quarter panels. So let me see if I can... And the wire screwed up. Now I gotta pull it out with some... Pull it out with some wire cutters. Just a little, just a little dirty. Okay, I'll, I'll be back. Okay. Okay, you get the hint. Close my eyes here so it's probably looking sloppy. I'm trying to hold the camera. So, yeah, just put little spots all the way around. It's going to look sloppy because of flux cord splatters and everything. But uh, just go all the way around, like I said, and then we'll, uh, we'll take the screws out. I'll come back when I take the screws out. Okay, I'll run. Uh, spot welds all across there went across every few inches and then come back and went again it's pretty windy out here it's a little chilly so it actually dried pretty fast and what you want to do is take off these screws like that Anyway, take all them out, and then what I'm going to do is run the grinder over it, and then we'll be welding in those screw holes, and then make another spots like here, in between all that, okay? And then grind that again. Get it welded under here, and over here, and just weld the... Uh, just grind all that and weld it again, and we'll be ready for a little uh, skim of body filler. So I'll be back. I'll show you a little bit of the grinding. That's what you want to do is you want to grind it all as flush as you can. And then uh, if you have to, get a little hammer like this. And if it feels a little high, just tap, tap where the screws go in. Like that. And then we're going to run another uh, some spot welds, like I said before, just in there, and then fill in these screw holes. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, guys, she's all grinded down. That's pretty much done there, underneath, and up there. Okay. What I like to use, put a, I'm not gonna finish out this whole quarter panel in this video. There's spots of Bondo here and here, but as you can see here, it's just really thin. I think they were just trying to fill in some scratches with it, using it as spot putty or something. So I'm gonna finish this out. I'm gonna grind out the whole quarter panel and everything in another video and finish it out. But, uh. I'm going to put a skim of this. I like to use this Bondo glass. It's like uh, Dyna glass or there's other stuff for it. But it's uh, it's waterproof. It's that green stuff. And that's for little uh, 
pinholes and stuff. I like to fill it in around the welds and it's waterproof. So if water gets at it from either, usually from in here, you can see in here where it's welded. Uh, I'm just going to spray, I'm just going to spray some black, uh, paint over that. And, uh, later on when I mix up some paint, my paint gun, I'm going to spray it the black paint in here just so it runs all the way down and it gets in the little crevices at the bottom this little bottom flange here till it just drips out of there might be a little bit of waste of paint but it'll protect it from uh from water getting up there and rusting out them welds since i didn't use weld through primer but uh i'll be back in just a second here with some uh okay i got some mixed up here and we're just going to spread a, well, I planned on a little skim coat, but I just mixed up what was left in that little can. And this is going to protect it since it's outside and protect it from the morning dew and stuff. So you want to press it all in there real good. Fill in the pinholes. Okay, that's it. That's going to be it for this video of doing that. Um, we'll get this. Using that same black primer and paint mixed in. I'm gonna just put some over there so you can see what it looks like. Make sure you get all in the edges here. And as you can see down there, we're gonna put some seam sealer in that little edge there later on. Make sure you get all in the wheel well. That's it for now. We See, we're going to do some, it had some moldings on here. You see a hole here and the little Bondo hole. We're going to grind all that out from the outside in another video, weld up them holes. And then we're going to put some more paint and undercoat. And like I said, some paint in, in the edge there. But for now, that is uh, the lower quarter panel, patch panel. So I hope you all learned something if you've never done one before. And stay tuned next videos. We're going to uh, uh, most likely going to put the other patch panel on the other side. And this whole back end here had been uh, caved in and bondoed. And we're going to go ahead and fix all that. So I'm working on the back end of it. Trying to get the, the ass end done. 
so the back panel there then both quarter panels this one here I don't think it's been patched but there is uh, we're gonna grind that out and just see what it's like if it's too bad yeah I think it is we're, yeah it's bad so I got the other patch panel we're gonna put the other patch panel on so if you miss something or didn't go through it put some comments down and when I do this panel I'll tell you I'll tell you I answer your questions okay so that's the plan for the next video or two is getting this whole ass end done like I said we're gonna grind out this bondo we're gonna sand down the whole quarter panel we'll smooth this out skim coat it and get it all in primer ready to paint the whole back end okay so uh, thanks everybody for watching uh, welcome a bunch of a couple hundred subscribers I guess here in the last few weeks from that uh, uh, dash video glad you liked uh, uh, me recovering that dash that's in here it's all installed in there we'll go through the interior a little bit better later I did pretty much finish it a few little minor things minor things to do we will be doing that but 99% of the interior and mechanical is done so we're working on the paint and body and it'll take a while guys we got all kinds of we got a big den up here and some bondo we got a strip we're stripping the whole car down right to bare metal fixing everything and then priming it and uh, getting it ready to paint and then finally paint it okay so thanks everybody for watching and uh like comment subscribe all that stuff share and we'll see y'all next video